Timber Creek Theater Department is working with the residents at Riverside Inn on developing a new form of theater. We got a chance to speak with one of the theater teachers on this. Well, the reason that I was interested in time slips was a couple of reasons. The first reason was really just that I'm interested in how we can use theater in different ways, how we can apply theater to different situations. So I wanted to share that with the students, that theater isn't always just uh, performing, that theater can also be used in a therapeutic setting, and it can also be um, used to help generate material to create an, a new play. Um, initially, I was very excited when I heard that we would be working with um, with uh, an assisted living home and making theater out of it. So I was um, I didn't know what to expect though at all. One of the things that we did was we went we actually went through a, a couple of online training programs. Um, this method, Time Slips, is um, was created by this particular nonprofit that focuses on working with adults with memory loss and with dementia. So. Uh, I had the students in the class uh, go through some of the training processes around it, and then we, um, on our feet, we got up and you know, in class and practiced them with each other. We, you know, we went through some sample situations, looked at some sample stories, and then practiced the technique on each other in the class, uh, so that we had a kind of a way of, of getting to experience it before we went, we went in to do it, you know, for the first time. We did two rounds of online training: one from Time Slips and another from a, uh, a different third party to just learn how to work with our storytellers and um, how to make, how to optimize the experience for them and how to get what everyone needs out of it. Once we completed the trainings, we would discuss as a group um, and debrief and talk about how it could all be applied to our situation specifically and um, what differences we would have to uh, adapt to I think it's it's been interesting to see how people have responded to it because I think some you know some of the students in the class I can tell feel a very personal connection to it either because they have their own experiences with it in their own family uh, or because they're interested in, in sort of you know caregiving kinds of situations or in teaching and that kind of thing so I've I've definitely seen some people click with it in that way um, either because they have a personal connection or because they have an interest in it I think others. Um, the connection has happened more once we got into the room. So maybe in the classroom while we were talking about it, they you know, didn't connect that with it right away, but then I've seen people get more into it in different ways when we've been actually working with um, the residents there. So um, I think it's not, I think it's been cool to see how people have interacted with it and how they've evolved as time has gone on. Uh, but I think each person has kind of uh, come into it with their own perspective on it, and, and, and they've kind of connected with it in their own way. So there's a lot of different, a lot of different experiences, but I think it's been a good experience overall for everyone, and I think um, uh, we'll take a lot away from it and be able to, you know, share a cool theatrical experience with the residents there. For Timber Creek Talon, I'm Colton Kloffenstein.